Hello friends, in this video, I would like to show you the if-else statement. So the if-else statement is a conditional statement. So what this is, is you can have the code written in a way where some particular part of the code is executed only if a particular condition is met. So the best way for me to explain this or show it to you is to give you an example. So let's say I have a secret number. Okay, so my secret number is 3. So I would like to make a code that would tell me if the secret number is bigger than 5 or if it's less than 5. So I can say if my secret number is bigger than 5, then I should execute some code. For example, I can say print the number is bigger than 5. Okay, so what if it's not bigger than 5? So what else could it be? If, so you put elif, which is else if, the secret number may be equal to 5. In that case, I want to print the number is equal to 5. And finally, else, because if it's not bigger than 5, and it's not equal to 5, then what else can it be? It must be less than 5. So print the number is less than 5. So you see I ran it, the code, and it says the number is less than 5. Okay, so some points I want to show you is, you see it says, the, here is the condition, if secret number is bigger than 5. So you put the condition, secret number bigger than 5, and you follow with a colon. Okay, so if this condition is met, then whatever command is that is nested inside of this if will be executed. So you see how there's an indentation here. So this is called nesting. So the print command is nested within this if condition. So it will print the number is bigger than 5. So what if it's not bigger than 5? Then you can go to the next condition, which is else if the secret number is equal to 5. So you notice that for equal, I actually have two equal signs. The reason is that one equal sign means that you are assigning a value. So here I have secret number equals 3, which means the number 3 is passed to the, va the variable secret number. So I'm assigning the value of 3 to the variable secret number. But over here, I am not assigning the number 5 to the variable secret number. Instead, I am saying take the existing secret number and compare it to 5 to see if they are equal. So the double equal means to compare, okay? It's not to assign a value, it's to compare. So secret number, is it the same as 5? If it is, then I will execute the code here. Print, the number is equal to 5. Okay, what if the secret number is not equal to 5? Then you go to your next condition. So if this is your last condition, then you can just put else colon. You don't necessarily need a condition, although you, do, you could put a condition. So the last condition is just if it's less than 5, obviously. So I just print the number is less than 5. Now it is possible for you to just have one if condition by itself. For example, I can delete all of this and the code will still work. So if I run it, we see nothing happens because the secret number is not bigger than 5. So I can just put less than 5 and I can run it and you see that it works. Now you see I have only one condition in my conditional statement, but actually you can make multiple conditions. For example, let's say I want to know is the number less than 5 but bigger than 1. You can do that. You can say and secret number bigger than 1. So I can say the number is less than 5, but bigger than 1. 
And in this case, when I run it, the answer is it is. The number is less than five, but bigger than one. Another thing that you can do is instead of just less than or greater than, you can put less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. For example, I can delete this and I can say if secret number is less than or equal to five. So the number is less than or equal to five. So if I run it, okay, it's, it is less than or equal to five. So where if I put five, it should still work. So again, it works. Now if, if I put six, then it does not execute. Another thing that you can do is to have two conditions, but instead of using and, you can also use or. So right now I, ha I have a secret number less than or equal to five. I can also put or secret number is greater than or equal to eight. For example, I could do that. So I'll put or greater than or equal to eight. So right now it should not execute. Okay, but what if I put three, then it should execute. Yes. If I put 13, it should also execute. Okay, so it does. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. If you found this video to be valuable to you, then please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.